There we go, a bit of change of scenery for you. Anyway, good afternoon. It's almost 3.30 on Friday. Friday the hour, I can't remember what bleeding date it is now. It's the uh, 5th, because it's the 7th Sunday. The 7th Sunday. Right, I'm going to go out there in a bit and just grab that yellow bike. Grab that up here. Uh, I'm also going to have a tinker with um, the Sun Solo because this town is that shit. Wilcoas didn't even have any of the split links I need, so I'm going to have to dig out my box of chain and hope that it has gone rather dark for some reason. Well, what do I say for some reason? I know why it's gone dark. It's because it's there's a load of rain cloud just to come over. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to have to do it the old way, <laughs> uh, and because I can't get into the shed enough to um, get the toolbox out, I'm going to have another go later because I want to try and get a couple bikes in the shed. Uh, my giant, my son. I'd hope your grandpa. <laughs> um, I've got to get the door open far enough. The runner's absolutely fucked. Um, I did have Vic, uh, not Victory, I had their contractors phone me earlier. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I've got to phone them and arrange an appointment for Phase 3 to come over. I can, I'll do that Monday. Um, yeah, and they've arranged for Tuesday between 8 and 12. <laughs> They'll probably be around about mid-morning if I know them. Um, I've got this feeling that they're not going to be able to fix it there and then. Uh, I, ideally it's going to need a whole new door and runner. Unless they can change the runner, I don't know. Um, I think changing it for a, an ordinary, you know, open closed door would be nice. Might be a bit more awkward for me to get the bikes in and out of the shed, but I'd feel a bit more secure with a door like that. Because I'd put the extra padlocks on as well. Um, but, it's victory, it's their money, it's their choice at the end of the day. Anyway, on my way back up from Wilco's, I just randomly decided to stop back um, to stop into the um, all sorts shop one of my favourite shops and I purchased well I spent two pounds two little pound coins and I got 59 floppy disks although out of 59 only two are no good I can't get them to format or do anything, so they're no good. All of these ones have been formatted, with the help of my Windows 2000 Compact Armada E500. Just a random laptop that I picked up from the pile over there. So, I can actually fill my floppy disk case up now. Uh, I've got a couple of PS1 games. V-Rally and a bit of great stuff in my fucking eye that I can't get out so it's annoying the hell out of me right it's a lot yes I think I actually got this from the all sorts shop as well like a couple of years ago uh, most of these in here are also blank discs <laughs> um uh. What have I got this feeling? I'm not actually going to get them all in there. Um, I think there might be like a couple of startup discs or something in here that I made for Windows 98 and whatnot. So, 
Wimbledon, but it's a cased Master System game that I can stick in my collection. I got Moto Racer, V Rally, which I think I've already got, but there's actually a reason why I got that. And a demo disc for a pound, so I can't complain really. All the discs are there, they've all been checked. Um, I can be grit in my eyeball. I'll let my charger cool, because I've been charging batteries most of the day and night. Right. fucking shit hole, you can't get fuck all in it. Never get what you bleeding want. Fuck it, I'll stick to on charge. Love it when you can feel it in your eyes. Oh, it's not hurting, it's just irritating. I've tried all of this, you know, lifting up your eyelids and moving your eye around. Uh, I'll fall out eventually. Oh, it looks like it started raining. We've got a red car pulled up. Uh, two cars at the cab off. But there's been. I've not even seen cars for the community bus thing behind me, they park up on here, so I don't know if the TC are now starting to move, I don't know if it's still there, but there was, yep, it's still there, there's a rental trailer out on the car park, I don't know if they're going to use that in like the tractor, because it's got the, um, I don't know the exact name for the tow hitch on it, but it's not, 
what you'd get on a car or something. It's what you'd get on um, like a tractor or a digger or something like that. You know, it's basically got the loop that you put the pin through. So, I don't know. I don't know what they're up to. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera off because I've got shit to go and get dead. I've got to find this chain. I've got another chain on the floor up here, but it's too short. Um, so, when I get my box of bike chain out of the cupboard, I don't think I've got anything in here. I'm going to check my box down here underneath the Schwinn first. Oopsie daisy. Um, just to see if there's one in there, because I can't remember. Oh, I've been looking for this. My angled flashlight. <laughs> and none of the Lidl's products. I've got loads of Lidl's products. I've got nothing wrong with them. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off and get some stuff done. I'd like to get that racer done. Apparently my uh, handlebar tape has been dispatched, so if it isn't here tomorrow, it should be Monday. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Okay, I've done all the adjustments I need to do to the Sun Solo. Well, almost. The uh, brake calipers, they need tweaking because they're sitting off to one side, so one of the brake pads rub on the wheel rims. Uh, that's simple enough for us to undo the nut on the back of the um, fixing post and just twist it over and then do the nut back up. Pardon me. Um, so, as I said earlier, the handlebar tape has been dispatched. Well, I think I said it earlier. I actually can't remember. <laughs> So I've just got to wait for that to arrive, and then that's the last job. And uh, next season, by that I mean spring, I'm going to use it as regularly as possible. Um, such as scooting over to Mum's. So I could have actually done with quick release wheels in it, but never mind. Um, but I want to get a pair of shorts and some trainers, sneakers in America. So I don't, actually don't have any. I've just got two pairs of boots and a pair of shoes for going out in, even though I never go out, so I don't even know why I've got them. But I've got them anyway. But I've got no sneakers or anything like that whatsoever, whatsoever, no comfortable footwear. Just these bloody grip big toe cap boots, which I've had for a good three or four years now. They've probably been the best kind of footwear I've ever had. Um, so yeah. Does ride nice though. Pedals are bent. Not the cranks, the actual pedals. But I did only put those on temporarily until I can find a, a nice pair to put on there. I'm not sure what sort of pair I'd go for, but a nice pair. I pretty much only picked a pair and stuffed them on there just so I was like a test rider. Uh, I've put that Barracuda frame in because I've got to try and fight to get that bottom bracket, not bottom bracket, off the crank off because I want that on the swing. Um, but I can't use the crank extractor because the threads on the crank where the extract the screw into, which is in here, have their shot on that side. So I've got another type of puller I can use or try to use. I'm not going to guarantee. I've seen RJ the bike guy use one, so I'm going to give that method a go. Hopefully, I can get this side off with little to no trouble. I'll put some amber reflectors on the pedals to make it street legal. Uh, for night use, anyway. And uh, I've brought the jalopy upstairs as well. 
I'm going to spend tomorrow taking it apart. It's only going to take me probably 20 minutes. I'm not going to reuse the wheels or the tyres and the inner tubes are going to go in the wheels on the Schwinn. Um, I've got a replacement pair of wheels downstairs. In fact, I've got two replacements downstairs. If I really want to pick and choose, I can. Um, I've loosened off the stem to see if that would move and come off. It will. So will the seat post. Because uh, on old bikes, especially if they've been left out in all weathers, like this one has, they tend to seize. They tend to rust and seize. These haven't, thankfully. They'll be a bit tight to get out of there, but they do move. And they will come off, which is good. Um, I think I'll reuse the stem. I could replace it, but all the stems I've got need a coat of paint anyway, so... As I'm going to be painting, I might as well repaint that stem as well. I just hope two cans of black is going to be enough. It should be, because I'm not going to need a lot to paint these up, am I? They're only little. I'll change these bolts as well. I've got shed loads of those. Um... it and peel that sticker off some. I haven't got a hairdryer to heat it up so I can't heat it up and what not. I'm going to change brake cables and gear cables. Uh, crank's fine. Pedals need replacing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I said, pedals need replacing. Rail is fine, front rail is fine. Like I said, I can ride it as it is. Well, if I tighten the handlebar back up and the seat post back up, I can ride it as it is. It's a fully working bike as it is. It just looks like an absolute bag of shit. It is an absolute bag of shit. Uh, do I take those screws out and replace those? Yes, if they'll come out. If they don't, I'm just going to leave them in the spray over them. Uh, I'm going to have to use a hacksaw to get this off, because I know from experience, when these go rusty, those nuts will not come off. So I'm just going to fold that round like that, take a hacksaw to it. I'm going to take a few seconds to go through that with mine. Keep the reflector bracket, and they've put the bolt through it the wrong way, so I know someone's actually changed this, that's not the original. I have got a pair, I've only got a pair up here that I was going to put on my... Uh, racing bike, but uh, didn't in the end, because I found those other ones up, so I'll put a pair of these on. They're pretty much identical to the ones that are already on there, or the front one that's already on there anyway. I've got like two or three pairs of those. I have to cut through that as well with a hacksaw, because again, from experience, I know as soon as those bolts rust as bad as they have, you ain't getting them off. Um, but I will keep that bracket, so I will cut through both bolts and pull both halves of each bolt out, and uh, I'll just put two new ones in when I want to reuse it, because uh, I could do with one of those on Claudia. I've got a couple down in the shed as well, but I want to put one on all the bikes I use, so I can just take the lock off one bike and put it on the other, whatever bike I'm going to be using that day or whatever. Instead of having a lock for each bike. Oh. <laughs> Not sure, I think that's a lock bracket. I think. Yeah, it is, looking at that, it's for a cable lock. It's a bit of shit then, I don't need that. Right. Might reuse the brake blocks, or I might just go buy a brand new set. Wheel bearings are a bit loose. What speed is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so that would have been eighteen. Oh, it's an eighteen speed. Those gear levers, I've got two replacements laying up there. Brake levers. Not going to be exactly like those ones that are, that are already on it. Same as the gear levers, really. Same style. You know, these aren't the clicky ones, see? There's no click. 
that's the same sort of um, shifter you'd get on a road bike, racing bike. So all I've got to do is just make sure the um, two screws on the derailleur are adjusted correctly. It's as, <laughs> as simple as that. Just take that out and place that. Try and actually, I may take that off because it's, it's not needed. Hmm. Not unless I've got a lamp bracket I could put on there instead. Oh, fuck. That is going to be needed, isn't it? I've just realised I need it for this. Nuts. <laughs> um, well, actually, I could change it for a modern style one, or a newer style one than that. Because uh, obviously I'm taking the forks out and whatnot, so all the headset will get re-greased and whatnot when it goes back together. So I'm spraying the forks black, so so it's basically going to be a blue frame, a black forks, black stem, handlebar stem, black handlebars. Um, I don't even think I'm going to have to primer that handlebar, I think I could get away with just giving that a fresh coat of paint to be perfectly honest, it'll have most of the cables are going to get renewed although I think I could reuse the outers to be honest or at least some of them should be able to change that bridge. What's the front one like? Is that all right? Oh, the front one's fine. I've got to need to change that. So I just need to change one bridge. I've got all the parts to change all of this rusty shit around here as well. So that's not a problem either. If the springs are rusty, I can't really help that, can I? Um, I've got to take these off. Take these brakes to mum's as well with everything stripped off and uh, give them a coat of black paint. I think I can do the same with those as well. I think I'll just need to freshen them up with some black paint. Mm. Got the wheels down in the shed, that's not a problem. Don't know what lights I'm going to put on this. Uh, I'm actually thinking some period battery lights, like these for example, putting those back on with some better white or even black brackets, doesn't matter, I've got shitloads of black, but I just don't think these are going to clean up, they might, I could try soaking them in some bleachy water and see if they will uh, clean up. But if they don't, I'll just use a set of the black ones I've got. I've actually got shitloads of them. I did have shitloads of those lights at one point as well, but I sold them all on eBay. And I regretted doing that afterwards. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, yeah, I'll clean the lights up as well. I'll probably just fill the kitchen sink with some water and some bleach and... Uh, Leave them like soak overnight or something. Uh, I've got to change the seat post and bolt. That's all rusty and crap. Look. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking set of battery lights and set of dynamo lights. Hmm. I don't know what set of dynamo lights I'd put on it though. Oh. Um. Oh, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. I haven't even rebuilt the bloody thing. Look how shiny the clank is. Look. It's like it's new. There's hardly any rust or wear on the teeth either. So I don't know if that was replaced on the bike at some point in its life. Or if it is original. Pedals are knackered as well, I've got to replace those. 
well, the left one more than this right one, but I'm going to replace them both. That should all come apart fine. Uh, I'll try and get these screws out the front as well and replace those. I've got another mountain bike of similar age, this, if not a bit newer. And one of these lugs actually snapped off the frame. It was that cheap. That much of a cheap budget bike, one had actually snapped off the frame. I don't even know why I actually bought the fucking thing from the dump in the first place, but never mind. I haven't actually... That's actually an idea. I'll have to go out there and see if there's any parts on that that I could salvage for this. I may... Did I take the brakes off? I can't remember. What the fuck? We've got a police congregation on here. And that is new. We've got a police van on here. Hmm... Before, before next, I've not seen that van. I can't, can't quite read what it says on the side. Let me go and find my binoculars. <laughs> I think it might be a forensics van or a crime scene van, whatever you want to call it. Right, where's my binoculars? Binoculars, binoculars. I've noticed the lights are on in the council office as well. But I've also noticed that. Uh, the activity in the council office was next to none today. Collision investigation. Hmm. Interesting. Da, da, da. Mm. Well, I'm going to end the video anyway because I'm not doing much else tonight. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Oh, by the way, I'm going to start uploading the um, racing bike build videos from tomorrow, which will be Saturday the 6th of August. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed them. They're not the best, but I'm not a cameraman and I'm not a professional, so... Uh, yeah, so stay tuned for those tomorrow. So thanks for watching, I'll talk to you again soon.